Space is the most dangerous place we'll ever know. And the more you learn, the more you'll be grateful you're here on Earth. When you look up at the night sky, do you know what's looking back at you? What could be lurking in outer space? You're watching Matter, and today we're diving into 12 freaky space facts you'll never forget. Number 12. Time flows differently in different areas of the universe. Time is a strange thing. We feel it moving forwards towards the inevitable future and don't see it deviate from that path. It makes us feel that time is a constant, that it always flows at the same rate. But due to weird physics of time dilation, time will move differently depending on where you are in the universe. While Einstein was working on his theories of relativity, he discovered that space and time are intrinsically linked, and this phenomenon concerns the nature of time itself. One of the consequences of this is called time dilation. Time dilation is the phenomenon in which the passage of time can be slowed under certain conditions. It turns out that there is a force that affects time directly. Gravity. Einstein showed in his theory of general relativity that gravity causes warps in the fabric of space-time and slows the passage of time. When there is a large enough source of gravity, this warping can cause time to slow to a near halt. Black holes are the densest objects in the cosmos and generate the most powerful gravitational force found in our universe, and they can affect time in some weird ways. Scientists have theorized forms of time travel using the time dilation power of black holes. If a ship of astronauts could orbit a black hole, time for them would move at a much slower pace than on Earth, meaning one year for them could be thousands of years for us. But this would be a one-way trip. Number 11. We are moving through space very fast. If you're watching this at your desk or in your house, you may feel like you are sitting still. But did you know that we are actually hurtling through space at incredible speeds? The Earth itself is rotating on its axis at a speed of over 1600 kilometers per hour. While this rotation is happening, it's also orbiting the Sun at speeds of 107,000 kilometers an hour. And then, the Sun itself is rotating around the center of the Milky Way at over 800,000 kilometers per hour, which is equivalent to 230 kilometers every second. If this wasn't enough, the Milky Way galaxy that we call home is hurtling through space, moving at a speed of 2.2 million kilometers per hour. Luckily for us, all of these speeds are constant, so we don't feel it. Imagine yourself in a fast-moving car or train. When the vehicle is traveling at a constant speed on the highway or rail, do you feel like you're moving or staying still inside? Number 10. Our galaxy is going to collide with another. As our galaxy moves quickly through space, could we be on a collision course with something out there? The universe is full of hundreds of billions of galaxies, all moving through space at startling speeds. Some galaxies have been seen to collide with others, merging into one more colossal galaxy after a hundred million years of gravitational turmoil. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is currently on a collision course with the Andromeda galaxy. But don't worry, they're not going to meet until approximately five billion years into the future. The Andromeda galaxy is another spiral galaxy that contains nearly a trillion stars and is currently two and a half million light years away from us. When they do eventually hit each other, the event will be violent. Gravitational forces will cause objects in both galaxies to be flung around, and some will even be thrown completely out of the galaxies into empty space. After the collision is over, theorists believe that the new galaxy would most likely form the shape of an ellipsoid, based on other observations that have been made of merging galaxies. Number 9. Space is not silent. We've all heard the saying, in space no one can hear you scream. This is a common saying, because space is a vacuum that doesn't allow sound waves to travel. Well. New research is showing astronomers that this belief may not be entirely true. While some areas of space may not allow sound waves to travel, there are regions of space that are densely packed with gas that can carry sound waves. These sounds come from many sources throughout the cosmos, such as stellar events, black holes, and other events occurring out in space. 
We would never be able to pick up these sounds with our own ears, but luckily, astronomers have plenty of tools to help with that. Voyager 1 has even picked up an eerie hum coming from interstellar space after it crossed the boundaries of our solar system, and astronomers are still looking for its source. Number 8. There are more stars in space as sand on beaches. The universe is huge, and sometimes it's hard to remember how colossal it actually is. Astronomers have only been able to study and view a part of the cosmos. There are parts of the universe that are still impossible for us to see because of the way light travels. Light travels at a constant speed through space. Therefore, the light we are seeing from the stars in the sky could have left that star millions of years ago, depending on their distance from the Earth. There are parts of the universe that are so far away from us that light has not even had time to reach us here on Earth. Astronomers believe that there are an unaccountable number of stars that call our universe home. There could be many more stars in the cosmos than there are grains of sand on Earth's beaches. Scientists know that planets are born around stars. If there are this many stars, how many planets are out there among them? And how many of these planets could allow life to develop? Number 7. More free-floating planets than stars. Even though the number of stars in the observable universe is a massive, unthinkable amount, recent discoveries have led one astronomer to calculate that there may be even more planets floating out free in the universe than there are stars. Much is still unknown about the formation of planets, but astronomers know that many of them are born in the disks of debris that surround young stars. A giant Jupiter-sized planet was recently found floating alone in space, far from any stellar bodies. How many free-floating planets are out there? Scientists wanted to figure this out, but it is impossible to prove this by counting them, so astronomers need to rely on mathematical models in order to answer this question. After running their models, some astronomers theorized that the number of planets ejected from their star systems drifting through space on their own may be as high as double the number of stars in the cosmos. Number 6. Cold welding can occur in space. When two pieces of the same metal touch in space, they will form one solid piece of metal as if they were fused together. This is due to the vacuum of space. On Earth, when two metals touch, there is always a thin layer of air and water in between them, forming a barrier. But space is a vacuum, so there could be no barrier between two pieces of metal. As soon as they touch, the atoms on the surface of the metals will not be able to differentiate between the two pieces and will fuse together. This can lead to many complications while astronauts try to work in space and can lead to some dangerous circumstances. Scientists have kept this weird phenomenon in mind when designing parts and instruments for use in space. Number 5. Spaghettification When objects begin to fall into a black hole, the insane gravitational forces will cause it to go through a process that scientists call spaghettification. Stephen Hawking was the first to theorize and describe this process of vertical stretching and horizontal compression of objects falling into a black hole. Because the strength of gravity is determined by the distance between two objects, the black hole will pull on the closer end of the object more than its farther end. The gravitational force of a black hole is so incredibly powerful that this small difference is enough to stretch objects out, much like a piece of spaghetti as it falls into the event horizon. Number 4. Stars act as vampires to other stars. Given that there are countless stars in the observable universe, there are bound to be some that exhibit some pretty bizarre behavior. One such type of bizarre star has earned itself the nickname Vampire based on how it refuels itself. These stars are formerly known as Blue Stranglers and are able to remain young by sucking the hydrogen away from another nearby star. Hydrogen is the fuel that stars use to keep themselves burning and as stars age, this hydrogen gets fused in their cores into heavier and heavier elements, reducing the overall amount of hydrogen left. When the star runs out of hydrogen, they begin to dim and die. Vampire stars suck away their stellar neighbor's hydrogen life force, causing them to die a slow death. Number 3. 
the dark flow sucking matter out of the universe, there may be new evidence pointing to a megastructure that exists beyond the universe, pulling some galaxies towards an empty point in space, in between the constellations of Centaurus and Vela. They named this force Dark Flow, and it has accelerated some of these galaxies to over 3 million kilometers per hour. Dark flow does not behave like the gravitational pull of dark matter, which only acts in the space around it locally. The influence of dark flow moves massive chunks of matter around and operates at the level of the universe. At this point, astronomers can only theorize as to what is producing this powerful pull from beyond the observable universe. Number two, one day the night sky will be dark. Ever since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding at an ever-growing pace while galaxies and stars are born and die. There are many different stars out in the universe. Some large stars burn extremely bright for only a few million years, while other smaller stars burn their fuel extremely slowly and can burn for many billions of years. When we look out at the night sky, we are seeing the large, bright-burning stars because the light the small stars produce cannot be seen from Earth. New research has some astronomers believing that one day, the stars that burn brightly will run out of fuel, leaving only the dimmer, slower-burning stars left to illuminate the universe. When this happens, the universe we see at night will go dark because the light from slow-burning stars is far too dim to travel across the cosmos to reach us. Number one, the Big Crunch slash Big Rip. The end of the universe is still a long time off, many billions of years, but astronomers still like to theorize about what might happen when everything ends. There are two big theories that are essentially the Big Bang of the end. One of these endings, called the Big Rip, assumes that dark energy will stay the dominant force in the universe for the remainder of its life. Dark energy is a force that drives everything away from each other and is the force causing the expansion of the universe. Eventually, long after the stars in the galaxies are stripped apart, dark energy will cause the atoms that make up all matter to rip into their fundamental elements, and all that will be left is an empty universe. The other ending, dubbed the Big Crunch, contends that gravity will eventually prevail over dark energy, causing everything in the universe to coalesce over billions and billions of years until it all meets and crunches into one mass. No matter which of these the universe is moving towards, the universe still has many billions of years before they would begin. What are some facts about space that you find truly freaky? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos.